Hello, my wee hobbitses. Today we are going on an adventure. The birds have helped me pack my bags and trip is going on an adventure all of its own and I'm headed to the airport. I'm going to the airport because I'm about to board a big jet plane all the way over to Perth. Now Perth is a really long way away. I'm literally here and Perth is all the way over here. Um, but I'm going in the name of adventure. I'm going to the book launch of Hetty Has Hiccups. Deborah Hassett, the author of Hetty Has Hiccups, is one of my authors and one of my favourite people. And over two years we've gotten to know each other very well and we've created four books together, including Alice's Journey, Fleur the Flamingo, Ladies in Red Dresses, and now we're doing Hetty Has Hiccups. Now, when Deb sent me the story of Hetty Has Hiccups, I laughed a lot. <laughs> because it's so typical for us to have something like a hyena that is scary and then turn it into something cute. I mean, if you look at a hyena, they're not pretty at all. And their laugh is really terrifying. But I am a sucker for a challenge. So I was like, yes, yes, I will illustrate this silly book for you, Deb. It's gonna be awesome. So then we started on the character development. Now, I looked at a lot of hyenas during this process. I also looked at how other people had illustrated hyenas and most of them were still pretty ugly. So I ended up breaking the character apart and tried to work out exactly what made a character cute. If I gave Hetty a big smile, would this help her be cute? It did. If I gave her big eyes, would it help? It did. And if I made it her head really big so it can show all of the emotion. Will this make Hetty cute? It did. <laughs> By breaking down the scary things on a hyena, I had managed to change them in a way to make them cute. Then when I put them all back into the character, we had Hetty. The next thing that we tackled was the storyboard. For those that are not so familiar with storyboards, basically it's a comic. It shows how the story is going to look broken down into little pictures. I knew I wanted nice big landscapes in it to show the African vistas. And I knew I wanted lots of portraits like face shots of Hetty. So she could show us lots of emotion and expression. And this last one was particularly important for Hetty because big expressions make big emotions easier for kids to understand. Then we painted it. I love watercolour painting and watercolour worked really well for Hetty. It's whimsical, it's washy and it worked. We were able to bring out the character and do lots of lovely out of focus landscapes. I have a few of my favourite pages that I painted here to show you. The first one is page one. It's a very important page because it shows Hetty in her natural state. I love that it's basically the quintessential Hetty has hiccups image. It's set the scene for the rest of the book, if you will. We've got a beautiful washy landscape and we've got a happy, joyful character and there's a lot of movement going on. The next one includes Lenny the lion. I wanted to include Lenny's page because he is one of the wisest of the animals that Hetty goes to for help. I mostly like it because of the way that I planned out the page. So we've got our characters in the right hand side and then on the left, we've got more of that magical watercolor landscape. This is perfect because I was planning my text to go on the left, which means we're not gonna be covering any of the illustrations here on the right. The last one is a really simple little illustration, but I think it really catches who Hetty is. She's laughing, she's rolling around on the ground and just being herself. Kids can understand this page really easily because her expressions are obvious. We see she's a happy, joyous character. Then on the next page, we find out that she's gotten hiccups because she laughed too hard. It's the turning point of the whole book. Now that I had completed painting all of the illustrations, I could move all of my pictures into one document. And this is where the layout design comes in. I combined all the text and the illustrations so we could see what the final book would look like. So after everything is done and the book has been sent to the printer, we have the final book. 
this is it here. And I'm really happy with how Hetty has hiccups has turned out. She's bright, she's beautiful, and I love the printing. It looks so good. This is why I'm here in Western Australia. I'm here for the launch of Hetty Has Hiccups. So let's just pop back to my adventure. I may have gotten lost on the way there and lost again. I made a friend who was really, really friendly and very persistent, but I eventually arrived to the launch. Deb looked just as stunning as she always does and it was absolutely amazing to see her. And here we were at the home coffee bar in Ocean Reef, Perth for the official Hetty Has Hiccups book club. Now Deb's merch game was on point today. She had all the display for her books, several of the original illustrations, more snacks than anyone could ever eat and truckloads of kids. Did I mention the amazingly talented face painter? No, in case you are asking, I didn't have time to get my face done, but next time I'm in Perth, I'm gonna chase her down and make sure it happens, because I want a butterfly. The atmosphere was buzzing, and everyone was out there to support the amazing Deb and all of her beautiful books. Okay, it's not hard to see that everybody loves Deb from the smallest fan running up and giving her a hug to the oldest fan awkwardly asking for a hug. <laughs> Deb, being a lovely person that she is, just took it all in her stride and told them stories which then made them laugh a lot. Quick as a flash, it was that time. Time for us to sign some books and I started meeting some of Deb's little and bigger fans. Everybody loves the book. Of course they love the book. The story, the colours, and of course our super cute Hetty the Hyena. I love it too. Cue the audience question and answer time. The author of books, Deborah Hassett. Stand up, woman. Hello. Hello. And the incredibly talented, infamous Sunshine. Infinite. What are you infamous? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. Well, I'm very old and I had a father who used to tell me things about, you know, if you've got the hiccups, you had to do all these silly things. And I'm not sure whether any of them really work. And so that's where that just came up with silly suggestions of how to rid yourself of hiccups. That's a really good question. It is a good question. Who here looks at the pictures first in a book? I do too. I do too. Who here can see themselves as a picture in a book sometimes? When do you sometimes you pretend that you're in a story? I sometimes pretend I'm in a story. Mm, I do. Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> the reason I think kids' books have pictures is because sometimes it's really hard to relate to just words. And then some kids ask some even bigger questions like, what is a character? What is a character? Good question. Hmm. It's, a, it's, a very, it's a very hard question to mm. answer really. It like is. Characters, because I listened for, as I said, I'm very old and I've, my <laughs> gra I've got big, big, big grandchildren. And they, when they were little, would just tell me stories and, and it would be, I could relate to it with, a character mm. so some like Jackson with the ladies in red dresses um, yeah. I think we, characters are people aren't they yeah, really they are. sometimes it's people that we know with Alice it was um, all the characters in that are emotions mm. so Alice's I've journey. got yeah, yeah Alice's journey so there's sad and there's chaos and there's happy so the character Sunshine did a lovely job in drawing um, the what I'd written and the character and she kept, brought them to life. What is a character? What is a character? It's a very philosophical and a great question from a four-year-old. So what I've decided to do for events like this is basically give a blow-by-blow -blow of what happened for everyone who couldn't attend. But at the end, I want to sit down and have a chat with the amazing author Deb and ask her all the tough questions. 
Um, so today we've launched, well, re really all four yeah, of the yeah. books, which is very impressive that we've done four. Four yes. is done now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but really, uh, the last one we did was Hetty. Yes. Can you tell me about Hetty? Like, how did you come up with the Hetty character? It's just as a kid being told silly things by my father. Like, yeah. you get the hiccups, you. <laughs> Stood on one foot or you drank upside down from a cup. Sat on your hand yeah. or whatever. It's just <laughs> silliness and I think that's um, where I kind of just ran with that. Mm -hmm. We need a world with more silliness. Around. Absolutely. Yeah. Promote silliness. Promote the silliness. <laughs> <laughs> and um, do you think it's done well as a book? Like do you think it's been well received? I think it's... Move away, darling. We're being busy. <laughs> Has Hetty been really well received? Um, do you think? Probably. I, I could do a little bit better with self more more promotion. Mm -hmm. I think this. Hopefully, today has been really good. Promoting so kids, is hard. Yeah, the like, kids seem really to like hard. it. When I go to the schools and read, um, I read to a group of three-year-olds, which are quite interesting to hold their um, attention. <laughs> but when I started hiccuping. Um, they just lost it and it was great because they all, you know, waiting for the next hiccup, you know. Um, uh, yeah, so I've, I've got to do a little bit more promoting, mm -hmm. but hopefully it'll do well. Yeah, okay. Because it's my first hardcover too, which is... Um, Exciting I though, love it looks having, so beautiful. I love having a hardcover. Yeah. I don't know why. Well, you can whack people with it. Well, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, get the hiccup, whack them with the book. That's right. <laughs> Um, how did you come up with the idea for like the whole story though? Like, when was the aha moment? Like, how, what, what were you doing or thinking when you wrote that story? I, I really think it was because it, it is it silly. Yeah, it you is know? silly. It was something about um, hyenas, which aren't particularly attractive animals, really, and they. I don't know what I was watching, probably an Attenborough thing or something. <laughs> and there was this, you know, talking about how they, they, they kind of laugh. And I just, what would, you know, if you laugh so much, you get the hiccups. And that's kind of my, that's how my mind works. <laughs> well, you're, you're probably right, though. You do like making strange looking animals into yes. children's books, though, because yes. we had Fleur the Flamingo. And now we've got Hetty the Hyena. Yes, yes. Because Fleur was, uh, flamingos aren't particularly attractive either. I mean, on in, in, mass, they're beautiful with all the feathers and things. Yes, but if you look at the close up. Yes, they're really ugly beaks and stuff. Yeah. So Hetty was, but I love how you've drawn Hetty. She's. She's really just I think cute. she's turned out great. She's very cute. She's a, like, hyenas are not all no, that they're not nice attractive, no. or attractive. Yes. And so we've had to try and like make her cute mm. and friendly. And yes. I think we did good. Yes. I think we did good. Um, but that's it. It's really, really lovely to be here in WA. We but put we're on done. The, for you. The, the book's done. It's, it's been launched in the world and that's that's it. That's it. And that was the book launch of Hetty Has Hiccups by the amazing Deborah Hassett. So this is the book and yes, it is fantastic if I do say so myself. If you have watched this far, you know you want to go and get yourself a copy and I've put all of Deb's links down below. Okay, so let's have a chat. There are lots of ways that you can make the world a better place. Hundreds of charities you can support and tons of things that you can do to make a difference in the grand scale of everything. Supporting small artists, authors and creators and all those little people is one of the biggest things you can actually do to make a real difference in the world. Why? Because they are real people telling real stories from your community. They aren't a mega corporation pumping out stuff mass produced by a committee. Every single one of these people has created something off their own back. And I can assure you that for 99.99% .99 of them, it's not for the money or fame. Most authors in particular never make the money back they invest in their books. So every time you buy just one of those books, it has a very real, very immediate effect on them and their lives. If hyenas aren't your thing, I get it, it's perfectly fine, but the message still stands. Look around your area, your region or your community for your local authors or artists and see what they have to offer. It'll make a huge difference to them and it enriches your community. Anyway, 
that's my speech. If you're still here, then good job you. Thank you so much for having me, WA. And Deb, you were just amazing as always. Till the next adventure, everyone. That's it for today. I will talk to you soon. Bye.